Ready? All right, yeah, whenever you're ready, kid. Hi, everyone. For people that don't know me, I'm Bailey. This is my senior project. So for my essential topic, it was what are the steps needed in order to create successful birthday boxes for children in a homeless shelter? So here's a little overview about my project. This is what I was my timeline and everything I hope to accomplish. My talk of why I chose birthday boxes, hope to accomplish, my mentor, probably just because, which is the organization that I ended up going with to donate these birthday boxes to, fundraising, and putting it all together. So a little bit about why I chose this topic. Obviously, my mentor is Mr. Caulfield, but he's been the person that I've looked up to to help donate these boxes because he is an advocate for helping those in need. He inspired me to help those in need, especially children, because kids have a huge part of my life. And I've always wanted to help those unfortunate because that's a part of who I am. I love building a smile on kids' faces. And being able to see that is just one of the best things in my life. And I want to make a kid feel a sense of importance. Again, I grew up with a big family, and I grew up with all that love. And I know kids in shelters like these aren't given that, and I wanted to give a part of me to someone else with that. And also just getting the community involved with helping me organize this and contributing to my project is also a big factor of why I chose this topic. So my mentor is Mr. Caulfield. He has been someone I've looked up to since my freshman year. He's a big family guy, and I'm also a big family person. He's someone that I've always but not afraid to ask for questions. He's always been super open. He helped actually donate to, his family actually helped donate to my project, which I'm super, super grateful for. He's also the mentor of the Leah's Club that I run with one of my friends, Adela. He has guided me, said it's okay to fail sometimes, it's okay to be who you are and mostly just give back to the community. Without that, thank you for that. So what I hope to accomplish throughout my project was to make birthday supplies accessible to those in need. I knew that parents have a lot to worry about, like getting food on their child's plate, getting a good paying job, and overall just making a child's life happy. And I wanted to be do birthday boxes because this was the reason why, because having everything in one box and having everything easy, accessible, kind of alleviates the pressures of having the family having to worry about going to the store, budgeting for a birthday party. Whereas when you take one of my boxes, you can go celebrate in a park, or you can go celebrate somewhere that doesn't make, that reminds you of a happy place. So this is why I also chose my project. So how I intend on getting it done. One of my big factors was collecting donations, especially from the community. My original goal was just to get the school involved, but I knew if I wanted my project to be as successful as I wanted to be, I had to get the outside help. So I got the community involved and definitely a bunch of friends and family. Also getting in touch with Project Just Because, which is the organization I chose for my project. As you can see over here, this is one of the emails I sent to Project Just Because. It's just a little brief overview about who I am as a person, where I go to school, and a little bit of my project and what I hope to do. Originally, my goal was to have this done by February break, but because I procrastinated and also because of some issues I ran into, I ended up finishing in April. So a little research about my project. Um, there's over 20,000 homeless children alone just in Massachusetts, and this is also one of the reasons why I wanted to. If I could make one kid out of the 20,000 kids happy, that's what I wanted to do. I ended up helping 18 families involved in that project, and that's why this project was such a huge thing for me. Another organization I was actually looking into was Birthday in a Box. They're located in Maine, Massachusetts. They help those advocate for just children and making birthday boxes, but you'll see later in my presentation why I chose project just because because this project organization only also just never got back to me when I sent out an email, like multiple emails. I had to find another way to reach out, so that's also why I chose my research. So who I needed to get in contact with? Mr. Caulfield was one of the persons I needed to get in contact with. Because he was my mentor, he had a lot of things going on, but especially his family and like school-wise, I knew that I had to reach out to him earlier about my project. And I knew a lot of people were gonna go up to him and ask for them to be their mentor for my project. And I knew Caulfield would say yes, obviously, to my project, but I just still had thought I'd ask. So I thought sending out emails and getting the project just because would be a great way. That was one of the last emails I ever sent to project just because, just letting them know like, hey, I'm stopping by, just so you don't get bombarded by like 18 boxes of birthday supplies, and just reaching out to project just because as well. So that was when they got back to me in April. They actually got back, out of everyone I've reached out to, the quickest, they got back to me in like 30 minutes after sending out an email. I sent it out to Mr. Caulfield's, uh, Mr. Carter's class actually, and they got back and they were like, I love this idea, I love your project, why don't we? So a little bit about Project Just Because. They are a nonprofit organization located in Hopkinton, Massachusetts. 
They advocate for those, especially in Massachusetts alone. They don't worry about the other 50 states. They just worry about those in Massachusetts, which I personally love because I know that my good and my donations are going to just the families in Massachusetts, which I wanted them to realize that like those kids that I'm helping are just in Massachusetts alone. This picture was taken the day I donated my project. As you can see, those are all the boxes and supplies I donated to my project. If you actually look on the Instagram page, I believe that's still there. That's some of the places uh, big project is because is it's they also are a nonprofit organization, but they don't just worry about like kids. They mostly worry about like the most vulnerable individuals and families. So they collect like canned good drives, toiletries. We actually work with the Leaders Club. Actually worked with them in the past. This is also why I chose to project is because because they've been super supportive and helpful with other projects we've done in the past. So starting to the words in school, this I felt like was the most challenging thing to do for my project. Because the Leo's Club is like the whole high school, it's a little small and a little bit time consuming to get everyone involved with it in school, especially just because I know that we only see because of our schedule twice a month. And it's kind of hard to just have rely heavily on the Leo's Club. So I asked Mr. Dickey if he could make a school wide announcement every week or so, just reminding people about my project. But again, this wasn't just enough to get my project the way I wanted it to be, so I had to contribute to the community as well. So with the help of my dad, I, he was able to help me post my senior project on the Mills Public Forum, Mills Unplug, and one other Facebook group. This is just a little bit again about my project, and I was asking people if they would donate supplies or like any money. At first, this was a little hesitant about reaching out because I didn't want random people to be donating me stuff I don't need for my project, especially like cash I knew that was going to be a little iffy about, but this also ended up being the best factor to make my successful project. So with the help of Venmo, I received over $500 in my Venmo account. This was one of the bigger like, things that helped me with my project. These are everyone that donated it, so if you see your name up there, thank you so much for donating. But this is just one of the factors that helped me get to my project. I originally only asked people to donate five to $10, and as you can see, I was receiving well over that, between $50 to $100, which I was not anticipating because with Venmo, I didn't know how it would work because I know they take a fee out of a certain profit, and I didn't want that to be a factor of people thinking I take their money. So that's a little bit about that. So getting all the supplies. Here's my siblings, me, and just getting all the supplies. Here's my sister and I at one of the trips we took to, I believe, Walmart, that we got like all of the containers. Originally, we were gonna use like reusable cardboard boxes, but we then found like, these really cheap containers that we could put everything in, and it was easy because everything was in one place. You could just pick it up and go, and it was a lot easier than just cardboard boxes because then we would have to worry about like shipping and everything. So then there's my brother, my sister again. Those were when we went to the Dollar Tree and we went to go get a bunch of supplies. I honestly feel bad because we freighted the Dollar Tree party section like multiple times and we had to go back because we didn't realize how much people were willing to donate to my project. And Target as well just to get a last minute deal things we needed. So putting it all together, on the left you can see that is just a bird's eye view of some of the things we collected over the three months we collected items. That's not everything, that's just one of the trips we took. And then the second photo is where we had all the boxes put together. This was one of the fun parts of my project because I got to organize and lay everything out and just see all of my hard work on the floor of my kitchen and everything was split and everything that I worked so hard for and was so worried about people coming and donating to my project, which is really nice because as you can see, a lot of people contributed and without that, we wouldn't have the success. So delivering it to project just because this was I originally planned on doing this over April break, but again, with a lot of like timing issues and stuff, we had to do it over April break, So, which was completely fine because that was when my deadline went and it made me push to my, collect more items. So I believe I delivered it the day after, on a Tuesday. It was the day after Marathon Monday. And the one problem we ran into was that me and my sister figured out was my car was not big enough to fit everything in my car. So we kind of had to shove everything, as you can see, it's like filled to the brim, shove everything to the front of my car and kind of just fit everything in the car. And like when we turned a sharp turn, like stuff would fall over and we'd have to pull over and fix it. But overall, it was a great success and I loved this project so much. So my results of this project, I received over $600 in donations, that's counting Venmo, cash donations, and checks that I received over the three months of collecting my project. Um, I originally planned on only making eight boxes, but because of with all the excess money and donations I've had received from the community and friends, I was able to make 18 boxes. 
So over here you can see that there's little bags filled up with stuff in it. Those bags are actually each filled with more party supplies like plates, silverware, cups, because I don't know how many people are in each party. I just wanted to put those on the side so as an extra tab. And then over here we have all the receipts we collected. As you can see, there's a lot of receipts. That was, it was really cool to put it all on the table and just see all of my hard work on its display and see that a lot of people do care about giving back to the community and there's just still a lot of good people out there and that people want to give back and I want to continue this when I go off to college or do something similar to this because again, college has taught me that giving back is one of the greatest blessings and I truly believe by that. And then it also got me to do something good. I hope people that juniors out there continue this project, do something like I did because it's so much fun. And it just made me feel good about myself and everything that I could use. So my thank yous, thank you to Mr. Caulfield for listening to me about my questions, coming to your room last minute about your mentor reports, asking about these questions and helping me guide just basically what I should do for my project. My sister and my parents for helping me organize all my boxes, putting it all together. My sister calculating and budgeting all the money that I need to spend so I can go over my budget. And definitely the community, my friends and family for giving back to the community and also for also donating to my project because without them, my project would not be successful because my project heavily relied on people to donate to my project. And that's my work. Any questions?